Hello Cancers, this is Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I wanted to take some time to apologize for, to you guys for taking so long to post these videos. I was affected by Hurricane Irma and had to evacuate and then when I got back I was sick for a while so it's taken me quite a while but I'm here. Um, so let's get started on your love reading. We're going to start as usual with your Romance Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, we have chemistry. Okay, we have three here. Religious factors, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and romantic feelings. Okay, um, I just want to tell you guys when I was shuffling the cards here, that there was one that really mm, kind of called called my name. It, it, you know, it, it caught my attention, and I picked it up, and it was the Let Go Control Issues card. So. I know that that has to be for someone, at least one person out there is needing to let go of control issues. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, it's not one of the cards that came out here, but I felt like I had to mention it. So let me um, clarify these cards. I'm going to use the Spanish Tarot today. Let's see what we have for chemistry. We have the Page of Wands. So that's a new relationship that in which there's a lot of attraction, a lot of passion, and a lot of chemistry. So there is a strong magnetic attraction here between you and your partner. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups both reverse. So I feel like um, this relationship is very new for many of you. It has a lot of potential, but it's in the very beginning stages. I feel like it hasn't yet um, taken off. You're just kind of exploring each other and feeling that passion between the two of you. For religious factors, we have the Two of Swords. So religious factors, a lot of times, um, does speak to religion and, you know, the obvious. But it also speaks to overall differences between you and your partner. So it could be cultural differences, um, ideological views, um, Just differences, uh, maybe in the way that you were brought up. And I feel like for some of you, this could be a factor as far as, you know, the way you live your life is not exactly how your partner lives your life and lives their lives, sorry. And this is making you kind of think about whether or not, you know, this is something that you do want to get into. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune reverse. <clears throat> also, I feel there is a blockage here of timing for many of you. Um, I feel like either you or your partner are still contemplating, you know, about this relationship and, and it's, it's taking its time. Um, there could be other things getting in the way, such as religion, such as, uh, you know, Maybe you guys are just so different that it, it's just been difficult for one of you to come to terms to with all the differences and, and figure out if, if this is something that you think can work. For heart-to-heart -heart conversations, we have the moon reverse. So the moon reverse is about clarity, uh, seeing things clearly. So I feel that there will be some conversations going on here so that you guys can better understand each other. There will be things revealed. So that's always good. We have the King of Cups reverse. And that is your energy, Cancers. Um, I feel there's something that's bothering you. Something, um, maybe you're feeling sensitive. Or it's a, there's definitely something that you need to talk to with your partner about. Or with your love interest, whoever the, this might be. 
that's um you know affecting your emotions affecting it just just not making you feel like yourself so you feel like you have to express this to your partner for romantic feelings we have the judgment reversed so I feel like you've been asking yourself is this really you know is this just an attraction um, do, am I really feeling love for this person I feel like you're, you're not seeing things very clearly right now because there is still a lot that you need to discover a lot that you need to talk about we have the seven of cups reverse so that's a need for clarity like i said there is some sort of cloud here there's a that you're seeing through some thick fog um but i feel you know as time goes on as you have these heart to heart conversations and you kind of hash out all the differences between the two of you um and know that between all of that you do have this chemistry and these romantic feelings for each other you're going to both come together and decide if this is something that you want to take a chance on so that's what we have so far. Let's uh, move on to your Celtic Cross love spread for October 1st through the 15th, 2017. Let's give these, oops. We'll give these a quick shuffle. We're looking for your central issue here. And we have the Nine of Wands reverse. I feel like um, Cancer is you're slowly coming to the point where you're feeling like maybe you don't need to have all these walls up around you. Um, maybe you don't need to protect yourself so much with your partner you know maybe they're not that person that you thought you need to needed to guard yourself against because what's crossing you is the ten of cups reverse so you did have a situation in your past in which there was a lot of loss and unhappiness and this made you become that way become very guarded um, but I feel like this person that you're with which for many of you I just feel is a new relationship this person that you're with is making you second uh, guess all of that. It's making you, he, he or she is making you consider letting your guard down. Okay, let's see, in your foundation, we have the Queen of Cups, and that is because you're feeling the love, okay? You're feeling like you want to offer your your love to someone to your partner uh, you're feeling that being reciprocated that's just you feeling like your old self again okay in the past we have the four Pentacles so like I was saying in the past you've been very guarded holding you know protecting your heart what's crowning you is I'm sorry the king of wands reverse so this could be, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone who's just overly focused on their own agenda, their own um, projects, maybe not paying enough attention to you, or this could be someone who's angry, who's around you. Um, or just someone who's not taking action. So this is in your thoughts. In the near future, we have the Two of Cups reverse. We will definitely clarify that one. How you see yourself is the Three of Swords reverse. So you see yourself as someone who has gotten over all the disappointments and heartbreak from the past. And that's definitely supported by the other cards here that have um, come up so far. So let's see how your partner is seeing you. Page of Cups. So they're seeing you as a, a potential 
love interest. They're seeing you as someone who is offering love, expressing affection to them. But it is a page again, so I, I, again, I feel it's very new. Okay, let's see what your hopes and fears are. Ace of Cups reverse. So you're fearing, whoops, you're fearing that this relationship is not going to go anywhere. That you do have this love and affection, but you just have this feeling or this fear that nothing's ever going to come of it. Let's see, your overall outcome is the Ace of Wands. So definitely passion, sex in your future. Or so the start of something very new and exciting, but this is a love spread, so it looks like sex to me. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Hangman Reverse, the Page of Wands, Five of Swords, Five of Cups Reverse. Okay. Um, um, I've, I feel like a lot of you have been feeling neglected a little bit. Um... But it's like you're trying to be very understanding. You know, you're trying to see things from a different perspective and maintain the motivation here within this relationship. But there is a power struggle going on between the two of you. And I feel like um, through this power struggle, you're learning to take things slowly. Because you are dealing here with... You know, this is people getting over loss from the past, feelings of loss and regret. And this could be from, from both of you. You know, I mean, we're all dealing with some sort of baggage one way or another. So it's like mental um, conflicts even between each of you. Um, you have mental conflicts because of the things that you have gone through. So it, it does make um, the two of you apprehensive I would say okay let's clarify here uh, let me see your central issue nine of wands reverse let's see what that's about we have the four of Pentacles so yeah like I was saying you're you're kind of letting go of that way of being of being so guarded let me see the Ten of Cups reverse. What is that about? Why is that crossing you? Why is the Ten of Cups reverse crossing Cancers? October 1st through the 15th, 2017. Eight of Wands reverse. Um, I, I do feel that whatever pain you went through in the past, I don't think that this is something that you communicate or vice versa. Whatever pain that your partner is going through or has gone through, um, you guys don't necessarily share that information. I feel like there's a breakdown here in communication. Um, let's see. I want to take a look at this King of Wands reverse that's crowning you. Why is the King of Wands reverse crowning Cancers? October 1st through the 15th. We have the Five of Pentacles reverse. Six of Swords reverse. Just get one more. Um, I really get that this. Yeah, okay. Queen of Cups reverse. It's you. I really get that this is. Um, 
this may be your partner. So again, uh, many of you may, may, may be with uh, fire signs or they have fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, and I feel like they are, I'm getting like very busy. They're very busy. They're very into their own thing, but it's not that they're selfish. It's that they're, they're truly, you know, they got things to do. Um, and they're having trouble getting away from those, those responsibilities, those thoughts, those things that they need to do in order to bring you or make you feel like you're not being neglected because I feel like they do sense that. They do sense that, you know, because you come up here as a queen of cups reverse. So you're all in your feelings, wanting to get attention, but there's just things that need to be done right now. Um, in the near future, we have the two of cups reverse. King of swords reverse. Three of Wands reverse and the Strength reverse. Okay, um, I feel like there's going to be some some bad news coming here in the near future that's going to make somebody completely go out of whack. Okay, um, and obviously that's going to affect your relationship here. It's it's going to continue to hinder it. But I don't feel like it's anything really serious. I think it's something that can be overcome pretty quickly because we have the three of um, swords comes up uh, reverse. So it's like, yeah, something happens. There's some bad news, but you, you kind of get over it is what I'm getting. Um, and then you come up here as feeling the three of swords reverse. So you're not exactly affected by it. You're not exactly really hurt by it. Maybe disappointed at first and then it quickly dissipates. <coughs> Let me see why you're fearing the Ace of Cups reverse. Uh, Six of Pentacles reverse. So there is some, some imbalance here in the relationship right now where you're not feeling, you're feeling a little bit insecure. Okay, that's where this is all coming about. It's like you're not getting what you feel you deserve. Probably the attention, because that's what I'm seeing here. You're not getting the attention that you deserve or the time. Um, you know, pentacles could be time, attention, uh, even money, gifts, whatever. You know, you're, you're just not getting what you expect to receive typically in this stage of the relationship. So you're fearing that this isn't going to go anywhere. But overall, I do see the Ace of Wands here in your in your outcome. So let's okay. You're going to be manifesting something new, something that you want because you have everything that you need to make this happen. Okay, we're manifesting love. <laughs> Let me show you. You are manifesting love, passion, and sex. Leave me your comments because I know this is happening for many of you. So let's move on to your general reading. Congratulations, you guys. Sounds very exciting. I'm excited for one particular cancer that I know and she knows who she is. <laughs> So let's move on to your general reading, which many times ends up being a continuation of the love reading. So we'll see. do your general reading with the traditional Rider weight. Three cards for past, three for present, three for future.
first card up, again, Nine of Wands reverse. So you're letting your walls down. You're let, letting your guard down. Next card, Ace of Cups, New Love. Yeah. Four of Wands reverse. I feel like this is new love where you don't really want to even think about, you know, too far into the future. You don't want to think um, uh, about any major commitments yet. You're just kind of enjoying this initial stage or this is a past energy here. Present energy, death reverse. So there's a change, either a change or an ending that um, either you're not letting it happen or it's delayed and needs to happen. are out there again if you guys hear them four of cups okay a change there's a delay in a change and it's got you feeling bored discontent with how things are progressing Ten of Wands. Yeah, this has become a burden. This has become just like a thorn in your side here that things aren't moving along the way you want them to. You're getting bored. Three more cards for future. Um, also that, you know, I feel like there hasn't been enough time for this relationship, this new love to To sort of for you to develop this strong foundation and I feel like a lot of insecurity stems from that um, I definitely you know I'm going back to the romance angels there there needs to be heart-to-heart -heart conversations for sure I feel like uh, communication here is lacking um, so you don't really know if you're coming or going and and that's that's become a strain on the relationship okay future energy we have the page sorry ace of pentacles reverse so again it's like there's something new that's waiting to happen here it's the second ace that's come up so the first ace was the ace of cups and that's upright so the the, the initial love here is the initial love the initial um caring the initial um seed you know of attraction is there but it's not just attraction like physical attraction it's the ace of cups so there is emotion involved there's a lot of passion here with the ten of wands as well but there hasn't been any change it's like um 
you know, the four of wands is reversed. So nothing has been solidified. That change that, and, and it's going to happen because here we have the ace of pentacles reversed. So the ace of pentacles for a relationship, which uh, this to me is a relationship reading another one. Um, the pentacles signify a more formalized union, something that will stand the test of time. And that is delayed, but, you know, we have death reverse, and then we have right under that is the ace of pentacles. So I feel like that's something that's going to happen. It's just delayed right now. star so you need to you know maintain um being hopeful um i feel like your, your wishes are going to come true okay that that is the ultimate wish card so there's a lot of emotion here you're going to be sharing a lot of emotion it's going to give you optimism for the future Okay, and then we have the tower. So we definitely need to see what that is about. That is something, a surprise, a shock. I can't help but think, okay, last time, in the last spread, we got the Ace of um, Wands, okay, which to me, it's a very sexual card. Here we have the tower, and I kind of see this as being very phallic and sexual as well. So I don't know, guys. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment. There's that Ace of Wands again. Okay, yeah, so so there is going to be a period of waiting still because we have the Hangman here. So there's going to be a wake-up call, or a reawakening, um, a renewal of something, or just the, the, the start of something. It's like someone's going to get it. That light bulb's going to go off. And uh, Okay, yeah, I see it now. There, there's a huge attraction here. Um, but there is a weight. And, and I feel, you know, with Seven of Pentacles reverse here, you're, you're getting frustrated at the amount of time that this is taking to manifest. You're trying to be patient and, and um, stay balanced but it, it's kind of difficult it's like you have to be a little bit of a trickster to to hide the imbalance that you feel okay because you're, you're feeling insecure all right let's clarify let me see the death card definitely death card reverse What is that about? Okay, we have the world reverse. So, two. Okay, the world reverse is a new cycle in your life that is about to happen, is about to begin, but there is a delay. Something needs to still be completed. So, there is a major, major change, and these are two major arcanas. We have the death card reverse and the world, both major arcana cards. There's a major change happening. I feel like you may be in the, in the middle of it, but you don't you don't know it yet because it hasn't happened. But there is definitely a major change coming. Queen of Cups reverse. That's you being in your feelings because this change hasn't happened. Let me see the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Wands reverse. So a delay in a new exciting beginning, <clears throat> a beginning that has long term potential. Okay, the star. What is the star about here for Cancers? October 1st through the 15th, 2017. What is the star card regarding? Five of Pentacles reverse. So being hopeful, um, being more optimistic and not feeling neglected. Four of uh, Wands reversed. 
I feel like this is saying that these are things that are going to be ironed out. These are things, <clears throat> and I feel like, okay, so we have the delays here right before that star card. Um, I, that's why I keep saying, I keep thinking, you know, there needs to be conversations had because I feel like that's what's going to lead to the healing that, that is necessary. Um, and, you know, by healing, it doesn't mean that there's like this major pain there necessarily. It's just something that needs to be talked about. You need to talk about, you know, your feeling of insecurity when this person doesn't pay the attention to you that you expect, you know, and, and how it makes you feel insecure. I, I, I mean, there's really no way, other way for me to see this. Okay, let's see what this tower is about. It's a tower card about for Cancer's future energies. Okay, the temperance reverse. So I do feel that whatever happens here is going to throw you for a loop. King of Cups reverse. So yeah, it's going to put your emotions out of whack. It's something that comes as a surprise to you. Oh. Eight of Cups Reverse. Eight of Cups Reverse is about not being able to walk away from disappointments in the past or disappointments that you've experienced because you've you've um, invested so much that it's just too difficult for you to walk away. Four of Swords. So you take a break. Okay, this is going to be different for each and every one of you, but I, th there is something that's going to happen here um, that could be unpleasant, I have to say. It could be something unpleasant that comes just out of the blue, and you're going to have to deal with it, but it definitely is going to, you, you know, put you in your feelings, make you feel emotionally imbalanced. But you don't want to leave the situation behind, so you decide to just take a break for a while um, until things kind of cool down. So just be aware that that may be coming here for, for some of you. Um, and that's what I have for you guys for um, the beginning of this month. I will be posting the mid-month readings earlier this time. Um, and then also I wanted to let you guys know that I will be doing some bonus readings this month, so please be on the lookout for those. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and email me <clears throat> at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com if you're interested in a private reading. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye.